I promised myself I wouldn't buy any more books this year. I promised. Today I'm going to be doing my last book haul of 2016 um, and I didn't buy everything here, um, it has been Christmas, I have had a couple of gifts and things so um, and I've had one sent from the publishers as well so there's to be no judging here today okay. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is the one that I was very kindly sent by the publishers and that would be this beautiful hardback book by Debbie Gliori I think it is and um, it's called Night Shift. Um, this comes out in January 2017 obviously and I personally think this is a beautiful little book. Um, it's about Debbie, it's a, her, her own story and it is about her struggles with depression and she's likened depression to dragons and she's got a lot of little illustrations in here where she is likening um, depression to dragons like I said. So it is a beautiful book and it's not very long and it sort of just really lets you into um, Debbie's mindset and personally I've never actually suffered myself with depression but I've got several friends who have and um, so it has always been something that I've been interested in knowing a little bit more about the mindset and um, a little bit more about how depression feels and that's why I was very interested to actually read Night Shift and um, I'll just read to you what Debbie says. I've used dragons to represent depression. This is partly because of their legendary ability to turn a once fertile realm into a blackened smoke and ruin. And partly because popular mythology shows them as monstrous opponents with a tendency to pick fights with smaller creatures. I'm not particularly brave or resourceful and after so many years of battling beasts I have to admit a certain weariness but I will arm wrestle dragons for eternity if it means that I can help anyone going through a similar struggle. And yes I am holding it now but I've already read it because it, it takes because it only took about 10 minutes to read it and it's just it's so beautifully illustrated and um, I think this would actually make a really good gift. And another thing that I would that really interested me is that Debbie's actually Scottish and I, I live in Scotland and um, that was another element because I do like reading things from local authors. So um, yeah, that's Night Shift by Debbie Gliori. I hope that's how you pronounce the name. If not, I'm terribly sorry. But there you go, that's how it's spelled. And it's just a beautiful little book. Next up, and this will probably come as no surprise, and it's a little battered because I have been reading it and I'm one of these heathens that don't take off the dust cover when you're reading a book. I leave the dust cover on so it does get a little bit bad. But um, I just, I don't like taking the dust cover off, don't know why. So, um, <laughs> I picked up the second Harry Potter illustrated. I really enjoyed the Philosopher's Stone and I think I hauled that last month and read it last month. So I've already started reading this one, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's again, it's the illustrated one. Um, I'm sure you've seen it doing the rounds on booktube and I'm sure you've seen a lot of people call this but it is absolutely beautiful. And as I mentioned in my previous video where I featured the other Harry Potter illustrated book, I've not read the Harry Potter books and um, I've always really been into the films. But I've not seen past film 5 either. Incidentally I also received the Harry Potter box set for Christmas and I cannot wait to get into that and see what actually happens to Harry Potter at the end. But here we go, we've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and I'm already um, sort of a fair way into reading it and I'm enjoying it. Uh, the next book that I've got here is this one. I saw this hauled on someone's channel, either hauled or reviewed, I can't remember and I can't remember whose channel it was either. I did look back through my videos but I couldn't find which one it was and I told them whoever it was that I was going to be picking it up and um, I did. So um, this is Beyond Belief and by Jenna Miscavige Hill. Again, I apologise, I'm so bad with last names. There we go, that is how it's spelled. And this is about um, a girl's secret life inside the world of Scientology and her escape. And um, as you probably know, if you've seen a lot of the books that I haul on here, as well as reading a lot of thrillers and a lot of, um, I do like a lot of YAs and things, um, but I do also really love any sort of true life story. If it's survival-esque style stories where people have um, battled through um, very dark and dangerous situations and um, so this one sounded very interesting to me. I have never really read anything about Scientology. I don't really know very much about Scientology but obviously I've heard the rumours and the whispers and things like that so I'd be very interested to read <coughs> I apologise about my voice keep going. I've had this, um, I've had a cold for about a month now and <laughs> it can't get rid of so it's really playing a bit of havoc with my voice. But um, it's got pictures inside as well which also is something that I really like in um, a true life situation story because then you can really put um, names to faces and things. And 
I'm really excited to read this and find out a little bit more about Scientology and about Jenna's experience within um, the Church of Scientology. So yeah, that's uh, beyond belief. Next up I picked up this book and um, I have seen people telling me how to pronounce this properly but in true style I cannot remember um, and I'm not going to attempt it so um, it's the little book of the thing that is very very popular at the moment that I is um, that is Danish and is hard to pronounce. Everybody seems to be picking this up and loving it. I think I've probably just missed the boat because I'm sure everybody was seeming to be really liking it around Christmas time, but um, it was in the sale on Book Depository and so I picked it up. And um, yeah, it's again, little little book, um, lots of nice little pictures inside of it and I'm really interested in reading this. I do like little books like this, so I'm quite excited to give that a go and I don't think it'll be a very long read. And uh, finally, I saw this hold on Elna Love's books, um, book channel and she said this was great and she actually met the author by chance one day and just the way she described it sounded really interesting and again, it's another true life story and it just sounds interesting. So it's be called Come in, Becoming Laura Jane Williams and it says Sex, Second Chances and Figuring Out Who the Hell I Am. So it's Laura Jane Williams' story and it's about when the man that she thought she would marry actually um, left her and married her best friend which would obviously send you into a little bit of a downward spiral. She decided that she couldn't go on as she was and decided to embark upon a year of celibacy and I'm assuming it's about a journey and about her... Um, how she found that yeah and she goes on some sort of a little road trip as well from what I gather so um, I'm quite interested to read that it's again it's something that just spikes my interest so that's Becoming by Laura Jane Williams so those are all the books that I have picked up for the end of the year and I hope you all had a lovely Christmas I hope you have a brilliant new year and I will speak to you all soon in 2017 bye for now